In sports, performance is the key to success. For some, it's easier to achieve. Visualizing the task at hand and acting on it can go a long way to achieving a positive outcome. For the last few years, a Purdue University professor and her graduate students have been studying how a person's perception can actually change with a positive, successful performance. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Purdue professor Jessica Witt in the Department of Psychological Sciences. Professor Witt, can you tell us a little bit about the research that you and your students have been doing in the past few years? Sure. So we're looking at how it is that people perceive the surrounding world. And instead of this traditional approach, where what you see is what's really out there, what our research shows is that what you see depends on your ability to act in the world. So if you're a baseball player and you're playing well, then the ball looks bigger. If you're a golfer and you're playing well, the hole looks bigger. So that what you see relates to your ability to act on it. Uh, the traditional model of the mind is that first you see, then you act. And we're showing the reverse process, where your ability to act is influencing what it is that you see. Uh, in football, when we were doing field goal kicking, we found that people that made more successful kicks than others perceived the field goal as being bigger. And what was really cool in that study was that how you miss influenced how you perceive the goal. So if you miss because you kept kicking it too wide, you perceive the uprights as being more narrow. And if you miss because you kept kicking it too short, you perceive the crossbar as being taller. We've recently done a study with a brand new sport known as parkour, which is it's also called urban climbing, and it's where people jump off of buildings and walls and really move in the environment in a completely different way than you or I probably move. The distances between walls and the height of walls seems to um, decrease as you get better in free running. Um, as, at a beginner level, the distances look longer and don't look like it's possible to make. Um, with an advanced free runner, someone who has practiced, um, the perception changes and these distances are documented to be shorter, are documented to be um, a lot easier to overcome for the free runner. We do like to go out into the field and study real athletes as they're playing their sport, um, but we have designed a few in-lab versions of this. So right now we're working with a virtual tennis game that's basically a modified version of the computer game Pong. And we vary the size of the racket or the paddle and show that when you're playing with a smaller paddle, the ball actually looks like it's going faster. So how do you see your findings affecting collegiate athletes? So, so far we've really looked at uh, the mechanisms of the mind and how it is that we see, but we are starting to do a little bit of work to see if we can actually improve sports performance based on what we know about how perception works. We talked about our basic research question, which is, does one's performance at a task influence how they experience their environment? Uh, the interesting question to me then is the flip question. In other words, can we, can we influence the environment to change one's perception? So could we have place kickers, for instance, kick on uprights that were narrower to change their perception of that, and then they experience game day uprights as being much wider? Uh, so these types of things that you experience more in an applied setting or an actual competitive environment as an athlete, I think, that are very important as we look towards the future of this line of research. And this is really the first time that we've been able to quantify these effects and really measure what is happening and hopefully soon why is this happening. No matter how you look at it, Dr. Witt and her students are laying the groundwork for further understanding of how we see our world and how we interact with it. It's a lot harder than it looks. For Boiler Bites, I'm Chris Nisley. I think I need to stick to tuba.